She's terrified. What are you doing today, love? He's lucky I love him. <laughs> and I trust him. We're gonna do our first discovery flight here at Rocky Mountain Flight School today. And we're gonna see if we like it. And yeah, if we wanna fly, right? Yes. All right, so we're gonna give it a shot. Flying is something that I've always been interested in and I've always wanted to do. I recently started ground school with Pilot Institute and I'm nearly complete. I'm hoping to be able to pick up my private pilot license and a few endorsements along the way when I have spare time and extra cash. Today we're going to set out on a discovery ride to see if my wife can handle flying in a small plane because she is terrified of them. So we're going to go test the waters and see how she does. Buffering. 
chair, you'll be able to see mile high down here off our right. I'm not sure if you guys are into football or not, but she is. She's probably just scared to death right now more than anything. <laughs> Well, I am. Go I have been pushing pretty hard nose down, so that's more trim at this point. Cause I'm not being able to lose altitude. Yeah, go ahead and roll that wheel up. That should help with control pressures. You doing all right? <laughs> <laughs> you probably verified. Let's start a left turn around here. We'll orbit downtown. Okay. We're at uh, 7,300 now. Great. If you just find that gap between your dash and the horizon, yep. and just fly off of that, it makes it a lot easier to look at the instruments. We've lost a little bit of altitude. Do you want me to go back to 73? Yeah, go give us some more back pressure. And we'll keep this turn going around to the west. Copy. That's because we can't cross that I-70 there. Gotcha. And as you turn, bring some more back pressure in. Okay. When you go into a turn, you lose a little bit of lift, so you have to uh, increase that back pressure as you turn. Some people have too much fun up here. I guess so. <laughs> so we're gonna head toward uh, the mountains at this point. Hey, yeah, do you see red rocks over there? Yeah. Let's head towards that. All right. And as we get closer to the mountains, I will warn you, it'll probably get a little choppier. If you feel uncomfortable or you uh, want to get to smooth air, just let us know. We can uh, head somewhere else. Sound good? All right. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> Try to maintain 7-3 still. 7-3 sounds great. We have to wait until we're on the west side of Wadsworth until we can climb up. That's where Denver's airspace ends. Uh, class B? Yep. Dude, you're on it already. Uh, is it, uh, the upside down wedding cake? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you're the man. Yep, exactly. This shelf goes 8,000 to 10,000, and that's one of those outer shelves. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, com a common advisory frequency, okay. so where other pilots talk yeah. to each other. That's what happens when the flight instructors are on their seventh hour of the day and losing their mind, I suppose. I don't know. I guess I'm on watch with. I'm going to go ahead and increase to climb power. And if you want to pitch the nose up, we'll pitch for about 90 to 100 knots. I will continue that climb. Okay, well, we're over 100 at this point, so... Yeah, you just keep bringing that nose up. Feel free okay. to use that trip, because these controls are pretty heavy in this airplane. Okay. We're pitching for 90, you said? 100, 90? Yeah, 90 to 100. What's our desired altitude? Um, let's just keep climbing. Let's see how bumpy it gets. I don't have anything in mind. We don't have any restrictions. I definitely want to get high enough, 8,000 or higher, so we can check out Red Rocks. Sure. But if we keep climbing and it gets too bumpy, then we'll play it by ear. There's no restrictions out here for us. Gary, I'm proud of you. That half Valium helped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it did. <laughs> also, it's a school, so I know I can take over it any It is pretty cool. And he's been flying this whole time. I know. I don't know if that I makes you feel better or worse. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel better that you're here because you can, you can take over. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, so I'm uh, a little over your speed, so I can keep pitching. You can bring the nose up more, yep. If you just watch where that nose is, maybe make the, put the nose right on the top of the mountains. Gotcha. Right there, yep. It's an uh, awkward concept to me right now, not being able to see where you're going. Yeah, I mean, as far it's as... Still like up, your reference is off the side, too. The Lindbergh reference? Yeah, oh my gosh. I've been nerd now. <laughs> is a nerd. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that takeoff felt a little, a little shaky for me. It's a lot all at once. It's yeah. your first time flying a plane, probably in a while, or yeah, if ever. Time. Yeah, really ever. Um, and you're doing so much all at once. But it's such a cool experience. Let's level off at 9,000 when we get there. Okay. Now let's start a right turn around to the north. That okay. way we can get red rocks on your side. And pinch up in these turns? Yeah, just a little bit. Get a bit of back pressure. What you have right now is perfect. Okay. Let that nose fall a bit here. Okay. Bring our power back to cruise. And we could try a stall if you want. Or okay, <laughs> fair enough. All right. <laughs> I saw the look on her face. Yeah, we'll, we'll try that in uh, flight training. See that guy over there off the mountains, yeah. just above the mountains. Yeah. Keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't turn into us because he's descending. Copy. 
beautiful as it's great. Kerry, does it feel like the safest way to travel right now? <laughs> With a kid that looks like he's 12 in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Where are you? I don't know if we're going to keep him down. Alright, let's, let's do a formation. <laughs> Alright. That's one of the other instructors at Rocky Mountain. I figured. I recognize his voice. What are you doing, Discovery? Hey guys, you guys got a great instructor on board. He's the best instructor at our flight school, so enjoy your time. Actually, not too bumpy. Hey, I'm surprised they're letting you do that after last time. I know, right? He's kidding, by the way. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> What happened last time? <laughs> we don't talk about that. Are you having fun leaving? Yes. Very much so. Great. Let's come right a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna head towards... See that group of white buildings over there? Yeah. Let's head towards there. Okay. I'm gonna start looking. We got a plane kind of right ahead, 500 feet above, coming our way. This right turn's gonna help us avoid him, but I still wanna... Pick him out so I can find him. He's at 500? He's 500 feet above and climbing. So we're getting good vertical separation. Nice. So let's roll into a turn to the left. We'll do a left 360. Okay. Right now? Need 360? Yep. Bring that nose up a little bit. And you don't need as much rudder. Okay. Keep that ball right in the middle. Okay. And actually, let's roll out here. Okay. And let's do a slow turn around to the right. Okay. Now push some right rudder as you roll into it. Push more, push more, push more, push more. There you go. Oh yeah, I feel it. And shallow that bank out just a little bit. Okay. As we roll out, we're going to have a plane. Same altitude is going to pass off our right. Okay. Let's roll wings level right here. I'm sorry. Roll wings level. And then that ball is in the middle the whole time. So when you do stuff to the right, you need a bit more rudder. Got that guy in sight. And stuff to the left, and a little less. Copy. I mean, you're clear of the mountain here? Uh, yeah, I mean, we'll go over it, so you're good either way. We'll start getting set up to head back in. So we got tower hit up, set up here. If you don't mind, I might take controls on yeah, the way in, just because it's super busy. And some of those fun. <laughs> Netherlands. Yeah, it's right up that way. Yeah, that's what's on fire. Oh, oh crap. Down in runway 3, runway 1. I'm going to take control of the video, Monster. Pull the power back, trying to get a little smoother. Sorry about that. Center Tower, Archer 418, go 10 miles to the south. Get down, purple south, but still down there. All right, now that was absolutely amazing. I had so much fun doing this. I did end up getting a little bit queasy, but come to find out, I actually ended up coming down with a stomach bug about three or four hours after we landed. Definitely going to go back up again, make sure I'm not going to get sick before I fully invest in flight school. But if you guys are interested in the ground schooling portion of flight training, check out my affiliate links for Pilot Institute down in the description. So how was it? Uh, it was good. I got a little more, I actually got a little queasy. You did? I, I didn't. did. I didn't think I would. I got a little bit queasy. I was, the takeoff was a little, a little uh, overwhelming, I think. You did pretty you good. Did in, huh? You did really good. I did? Yeah, it was a little overwhelming because uh, I had never actually been on full control. So it was a little nerve wracking to be on full control and take off. So, but it was good. How good was job, it for you? How was it for you? No right butterflies around. in my stomach. <laughs> no butterflies. I made it out alive. We're all good. Thank you for watching.